Hello, Palisades community, and welcome to this week's Principal's Corner. This week, I am joined by two girls basketball players, Caitlin Cavallaro and Katie King. Welcome to the show, girls. Thank you. It's great to have you here, and I know there's a lot of excitement on the basketball team about things that will be happening over the next week or so. For those folks at home that, that maybe aren't aware, uh, this coming Monday, February 21st, will, the District 11 will be seeding our girls' basketball team as they have qualified for the District 11 playoffs. Um, girls, do you want to tell them a little bit about what we expect to have happen at that meeting on Monday? Um, so like you said, we're not totally sure um, the seeding yet because we have to get through dish or league playoffs, but um, it's looking like we're going to play Salisbury in a play-in game, and so hopefully we'll do well. Right. A lot of excitement to, to always get into the playoffs and to qualify for the District 11 playoffs, which is very difficult. That in and of itself is a huge accomplishment for any team, and we know our girls' basketball team has had their ups and downs this year, and you guys are probably excited to know that you still will be able to play on. Yeah. Um, not, I, I know this is not written uh, in stone, but we're looking for Salisbury possibly in a playing game to the playoff tournament. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want our folks at home to check the District 11 website on Monday evening to find out exactly how the seating worked out. Um, throughout the season, as I mentioned, there's been up and downs. Caitlin, what do you think the basketball team is doing especially well right now? Well, like you said, we've had ups and downs. Like there have been various injuries throughout the season, but despite that, we've all come together and we're all really good at playing with each other and playing off of each other's strengths. And we are able to implement all of like our plays and all of our defensive drills into our games, which also really helps. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot of talent on the team and, 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 and a lot of good student athletes on the team, some very good students, you two included in that. Um, and I've noticed really some, some fantastic communication amongst the girls on the floor at any one given time. A lot of passes seem to take place with, with your team. Mm -hmm. so, so if the team is to be successful um, throughout the playoffs, what do you think are the things or the one thing that, that the team needs to do to be successful? Um, I think it's really important for us to like play really aggressive defense, could just kind of put some pressure on the other team's offense. Um, I think that's going to be one of the key factors to our success in the district tournament. So defense. And how about you, Caitlin? What are you thinking? I definitely agree with Katie on defense. And I think just playing 100%, 100% of the time and going all out and giving everything we have during the game. Great. Well, yeah. we're, we're pulling for you. And, you know, hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be back here uh, looking at a gold trophy sitting in front of us for the district uh, girls championship. Um, the folks at home, once again, please be sure to check the District 11 website on Monday, February 21st to find out exactly the seed we receive and where we'll be playing our first game. Girls, I want to thank you for being on this week's Principal Corner, and I wish you uh, continued success in the classroom and much success over the next week or so as we approach the district playoffs. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Thank yeah. you. Palisades community, that's been this week's Principal's Corner. I look forward to bringing you more exciting news about Palisades High School students and their accomplishments in the weeks ahead.